In this episode of Engineering Career TV, I'll be talking about how to create the experience that you love as an engineer. Now, when I read the question, it's going to sound very specific. Aaron asked about civil engineering and construction, but I think the underlying lesson here is that you create your own experience. So just listen through and I promise you'll take something out of it. Aaron asks, I'm a recent engineering graduate and have spent the last two years working as a field engineer for a general contractor. While I still feel very much the civil engineer working on the construction side of the industry, my perspective of the industry is the opposite of my design consulting oriented counterparts. I was interested to know whether or not you have had the experience working for a general contractor and whether you had some specific insights on this. Also, I'm an EIT, busy building my experience. I'm fortunate I've been placed on a job that for all intents and purposes, a design build which has given me a great opportunity to also design. Ultimately, I'd like to return to a strict general contractor role and was curious if you had any advice on how to build enough experience for my PE license, specifically a construction concentration. Again, what I want to tackle here with this question is your experience. Aaron makes an awesome point here. And what he says is that he's an engineer working in construction, whereas a lot of engineers in his field work on the design side of engineering. That gives you two completely different perspectives of your industry. In one of them, you're seeing things designed on paper, and the other one, you're seeing things built in the field. Not one is better than the other. The point is, which do you like better? You have to create the career that you're going to really enjoy on a daily basis. Now, what I would say to Aaron is this, and I've said this on previous episodes, Aaron, you've got to be clear on what your goals are in your career, okay? Are these goals attainable through the construction related experience that you're getting right now? If you're a listener or watching this episode, the same goes for you. You could be in a job that you think is really cool or one that you think is really boring. Obviously, you want to be in a job that's enjoyable for you as an engineer, but you want to make sure that you're always moving towards your goals because if you're not moving towards your goals, then what are you doing? In this case, maybe Aaron, your goal is to get a PE license. Then you have to make sure that your experience is lining up. And I talked about that specifically in episode number five. The bottom line is that there are a lot of different jobs in engineering and a lot of them can give you really interesting perspectives or really interesting day-to-day -day activities doing some really cool things. Don't do anything that's taking you off track from where you want to go. Stay on track and keep the beat on where you're headed because if you don't, you might waste years of your career heading in the wrong direction. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you and I want you to take advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineering Your Own Success. Please subscribe to this show on YouTube or on iTunes, and I'll see you next week.